Oh, right. Okay, so we had a conversation earlier, uh, because I was being, uh, cute and or obnoxious. Oh, yes. And, uh... It was about vampires. Yeah, vampires. Because I've been playing a lot of Vampire the Masquerade lately. And, uh, I was, I was jokingly pretending to, like, go to, to Bite Shell's neck, vampire style. Uh. And... I, a little TMI there. No, nah, you were talking about my happy trail in, like, a different game. I can talk about... No, it was more about how you collect kisses. lint in your belly button. I mean, but you were also talking about my happy trail. Well, no, it's the fact that there's that hair that produces the lint. But anyway, so it sort of came up, slash, like, obviously Shell was not letting me go for the neck, so I went for her nose. And I was making jokes about being a snot pyre or a nose vampire or something like that. That's gross. <laughs> and I was thinking, what are some other weird off-brand vampires? I mean, there's definitely in in some myths creatures that just like people's eyeballs and their eyeball juices. Oh god, that's pretty bad. Eye pyres. I mean, that's really just a beholder. But like... Sweat pyre. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. This perpetually <laughs> smells like a locker room. No, 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 no. Think about it. You know how vampires often see humans as cattle and stuff? Just imagining them subjugating a population, forcing them to run on treadmills and go, yes, yes, sweat for me. Okay, uh, interact? Oh, I have to interact with the gate. Yep. Travel rations required. Ooh, I only have one of three. Oh. So Here, I need come back, more. Come back. I came prepared. You're gonna give me some rations? Yep. But then the sweat pyres are gross, though. Wouldn't they just be licking people? Yeah, they would just be licking people. Okay, good. And Markar Forest. But instead of blood, they drank from the lymphatic system. Eww. 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 I mean, you know it's that transparent stuff that's lymph, right? Yeah. So they'd be kind of like vampires, but they would only just barely graze you and then sit there kind of like... Lapping up. Suckling on it forever. Because <laughs> they could only get so much, so they're like... Gross. You kind of have to like paper cut people and then just like... Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the first thing I thought of. I mean... It's definitely unique. Holy shit. Uh, hey, Shell. Yeah? Take a look at where we are. The like, map? Look at the map. That's a big map. We have the Cabal of Wind, the Old Windmill, the Bandit Camp, the Huge Burning Tree, the Ruined Settlement. Okay, we want to go to Berg. Hives, Vigil Pylon, the Ruined Settlement, Ruined Settlement, Abandoned Docks, the City of Berg, the face of the ancients. Wait a minute. We don't want to go to the city of Berg. We do. We just don't need to uh, continue with the quest. Yeah, because the city of Berg, that's where the tribes are meeting. Or the council. Yeah. But, like, we just don't have to continue with that quest. Like, we can say no. Like, we're just here. We'll never join you. Yeah, we also, I think, have to travel through Berg to get anywhere else. Ooh, look at that purple thing in the distance. I see it. It looks... It's moving. It, yeah, it looks humanoid. That's definitely a spirit. One of those skeletons. What do you think? Unless it's like a fire elemental. Uh, it looks a little bit more burny. Here. I'm gonna block. You see if you can hit it from behind. If it takes like minimal damage, we bail. We're faster that than that. That is definitely a flaming skeleton. It's exactly what we fought before. Pretty much. See if you can hit it from behind. Sure. Oops. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh okay, we can do damage to it. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Down. 
Yeah, yeah we knocked it down. I have to let my stamina regenerate just That's a fine. little bit. Ow. Okay. Got it with some pain. He's on the ground. Oh. Ow. I have very little stamina. I'm going to have to back off. It's okay. He's almost dead. Just like one, one or two more hits and yep. he's... Dunsky. Got him. Got him. He disappeared. And we get an ice rag and the spirit stone. Not really like that sweet of a bounty, but like. Eh. Hey, but look, we have the technique down. Yeah. We got the teamwork. You lock and I attack from behind with a claymore. Let's see. Anything around here. There's berries. Ice rag for next time you fight it because of magic damage. That makes sense. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Oh, hey. A smoke root. Oh, cool. Yeah, we are going to be finding new materials out here. I like how... I like the forest. It's very pretty. Kind of kind of misty. Oh, wait, no, that's my head. I wonder how these... <laughs> I wonder how these rock structures formed. They look like... They look Just like fallen trees, fangs. but no. Uh... Man, petrified wood is really pretty. Oh yeah, I've been to the National Petrified Wood Park. I think I kind of went, but I didn't get that close. I think the problem is um, so much of the land had been pillaged and bought out by people that um, there's actually a huge illegal trade for fossilized wood. Do you know what the prettiest fossilized wood I've ever seen is though? It's a fossilized wood opal. So imagine Ooh. you have like tiger's eye for the wood and the wood grain, but in between are cracks that are made out of opal. That, yeah, that would be really pretty. I, not exactly Ooh, in that look, vein. look, there's more of those creatures. But you know how there's like acrylic stuff that you can put into, uh... Into the wood. It makes a very similar aesthetic to the opal wood. I really yes. want to do something like that someday. Like, mm -hmm. get a chunk of wood... Polish it into a sphere, but, you know, obviously there's still, like... Cracks and stuff. Cracks and stuff. Then or you, maybe, you maybe, then, Yeah, so you want to work with resin? Yeah, I'd love to. Like, that would be resin kind of Resin is just, smelly stuff. Yeah, I know. Luckily, I can't smell anything. Um. No, no, no. Like, it, it's the kind of fumes that can potentially kill you, depending on what resin you're using. Oh. Uh, I tried working with resin once. Shell, I see a creepy dude. Oh, whoo, that looks like a... Like an ice giant or something. Look at how... Doesn't it have blue skin? He looks creepy. He does. And he has a human-sized container on his back. There's the sun. You get a good look at him through my... That is an ash giant. Ah, that's where we get those ash stones. Oh, yeah. Let's... Oops. Sorry, I let my arrow fly. Maybe we'll pick it up along the way. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come back for him later, I think. We could maybe teamwork it to death, but... It's massive. It's big, yeah. Okay. I think we're going... Yeah, we're going the right direction. I'm trying to find my arrow. It's somewhere around here. Ooh, now is that the a big hive in the distance? Look up at the... Oh, I see it. That like weird like... Gourd? Yeah. yeah, I think those are the hives. Yep, that is absolutely a colossal hive. So are we going to be fighting wasps of some sort? Maybe? Yeah. I still want to go to... I still want to go to Berg, though. Mm-hmm. Just to see if people actually have quests for us, or this is yeah, really a really Yeah, we should be able to get quests. some quests. Also, it's apparently the place where you get a lot of magic. Oh. 
Now this is interesting. This was at the center. There's a bridge with an island. Yeah. Who are it... those people? Hmm? There's some people on the shore. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which shore. I can't tell if they're right here. Are they bandits? Oh. Are they? Don't know. They they seem hostile. Yeah, they're hostile. Ah, mages. Yep. I'm gonna try and help you kill the mage first. Ow. They hurt. Yeah, shell, bail. Just run. Okay. Just run. I'll try. I, I need to get up. Just run. Just sprint and like... How do I untab? Oh, there we go. Yeah, just click it in. And just kind of... The fact that they're ranged, though, makes it pretty bad. You zigzag a little. Are you out of stamina? Nope. I, I, I mean, I'm full on it. Oh, you probably just got frozen or something. I have an impediment. Something involving my speed. Yeah, that's fine. I've got this guy on me. Yep, he slashes at you every once in a while. Yeah, I'm just kind of kiting him. Effectively, whenever he starts sprinting at me, I just start sprinting. Okay. Can we attack him now? Uh, maybe. I don't know if his companion's anywhere nearby. No. Ow. Got him. Okay. He's good. down. Bandit Lieutenant. Just had food on him? Yeah. Wow. Tough bastard. The mage is all the way out over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh. We but could try and kill the mage. I need to heal up, though. Yeah. Badly. Still gonna take a little while. Uh. Otherwise, we could just keep going to Berg. Find him later. I'm leaning to go to Berg. Sure, that's fine. What is this building? It might be one of those ruins. I mean, it is certainly ruined. Like a weird. Oh, it's a wolf room. Like there's anything else here it's just kind of devoid that it is and that mage is just very slowly walking towards our position oh you want to just keep going to berg sure we're i'm assuming this is the oh yeah this is absolutely the abandoned docks so berg is just up ahead on the left yep oh hey found the treasure chest yeah we'll we'll kill that guy later so uh, go left through these arches, and this should be Berg. <laughs> You're still zipping around. It's amazing. I oh because of the uh, netcode. Yeah. What's this? Is this another smoke route? Probably. Ah, that's why they call it smoke route. It's because it's actually giving off smoke. Man, weird. How much smoke route do I have under here then? Okay. Now this seems to be gilded. Are we allowed it's Berg. In? Whatever it is, is Berg. It seems so tranquil inside. If this I... is the image for it. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a city. I wonder if we can like buy a house or something like that. I know there's like inns, but I don't. Nah. Remember, we're trying to pay off for our lighthouse house. Well, uh, I actually don't think we have to pay anymore. Well. I thought you wouldn't have to pay any more if either A... If we join any, join of, the factions. any of the factions. Well, I, well, the faction A would be just to join with the tribe. The explanation for joining the Order of Allot was 
oh, you know, we become your new family. You don't have to have your debt. And then with the people that have invested in technology and stuff, they were sort of indifferent to those old customs. Oh. Okay, so we are now in Sororbergen. There is hunter training. Interesting. These look like the same models. Yeah, I think it's the same trader lady. I'm just going to offload some of the equipment I've just been running around with. Because mm -hmm. I have a lot of things that I don't really need. Okay. It's interesting. Notice how the path is oh, inverse. Oh, hunter trainer. Yeah. Uh, if we train with him, he might give us better bowmanship. Uh, yeah, yes, actually, you can lock on enemies at longer distances when using a bow. You can also get sniper shot. Oh. Rage boon, evasion shot, shoot an arrow while jumping backwards, causing the cripple status on the target. Wait, you can jump. Uh, oh, only for the leap, like jumping yeah. backwards. Now this is just an enrage. Yeah, so enrage. Grants the rage boon, which increases the impact of your attacks. Uh... I don't know. The only thing I'd want would be Hunter's Ire Sniper Shot. How much money do you have? Probably not much. A hundred. So I'm probably going to wait to see what the magic might... There were magic trainers in the area, right? Yeah, supposedly there's something called a rune sage. Mm, I see. Well, we can take a look. Let's see. Oh, that building doesn't yield anything. Oh, hey. Uh, so, Shell? Yes? If you press select, or not select, right on the D-pad. Ooh, look at this guy. This guy's named Talaron, and he has these awesome sigils that are glowing all over his body. Yeah, I see him. You want to just talk to him? Sure. Are you going to speak for him? Hello there, I'm just mentoring the smith. He's going to do what he does, but a little help from me will push him to greatness. Don't mind the lines of light all over. That happens when you reach the rank of disciple of, in the holy mission. With these, I can resist and destroy corruption with my very body. Wait, so is this what a lot does for you? You get these cool runes? Potentially, yeah. Okay, well, let's see what he trains. Okay. I'll teach you, teach you a mace infusion technique for 50 silvers. It negates the enemy's elemental attack. It imbues your mace with it. it. Doesn't even require mana to use. Huh. Neither of us uses maces, though. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. So, that's interesting. Oh, this guy has got uh, some stuff, actually. Might be worth looking at. He's got runic armor. Ooh. Which reduces mana cost. Ah. It's very expensive. Ah. Um. Oy. Uh, the hot weather, weather defense, though. That's bad. He's I'm going to look around. Golem halberds. Ooh, that's an impressive castle up the hill. But first, I'll talk with everyone down here. Talk to Julius Sutherland. Oh, he's just like, I'm afraid I am quite busy, perhaps another time. Very well then, sir. And how about you with the spear? Oh, player house? We protect the ancestral city of Berg. Is something troubling you? Oh, this guy just essentially tells you where to go. Where can I get some sleep? Where can I find merchants and trainers? Who's important in this city? Tell me about the region or I'm fine. I'll ask about the city itself. Oh, and who's important in it? The Chamber Lords of the many tribes of the Blue Chamber Collective come here regularly to discuss important business. The Blue Chamber itself is that massive building up on top of the hill. Need something else? Tell me about the surrounding region. The region has a tame climate and is home to manticores and beast golems. Stay away from the old temple on the mountain. It is crawling with horrors. 
Need something else? I'm fine, thank you. Farewell. So, yeah, this is indeed where the tribes convene. For people that know, how do you get a how do you get the house here? You want a house here? Maybe if you join their faction. Probably. I was kind of hoping I could just purchase it. <laughs> the old coins in is over there. That seems like a teleportation spot. I don't know what this is. There's another smoke route. Could you imagine if these were growing everywhere and people were just coughing? Like, <laughs> get the weeds out of here. It looks like I could get you some wizard equipment that would really reduce your mana cost. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't learned enough magic yet until okay. I have abilities. Ooh, there's a chef. Chef Yasu. Oh. Fresh fruit and meats. What does this fungal cleanser? Seared fruit. A stringy salad. You can learn alpha sandwich, alpha jerky. The diadem de gibier. Yep. From a cheesy perspective, you can also- Teaches you how to craft food using a cooking pot. Yeah, you can also just uh, find those recipes out by Googling. Turnip pottage and stringy salad. Savage stew. Interesting. Anyone else of import around here? Uh, I mean, we should probably go take you to the sage trainer. Uh, there's somebody called Gabriella Sullivan up here. It looks like I was supposed to be able to talk to this old lady, but... Here, there's a lady over here that you might want to talk to. Okay, sure. Ooh, there's more skulls. Gabriel Gabriella Sullivan is someone important. Yeah, this one right here? Mm-hmm. Take care, traveler. It's not safe out there. That's all she says. Oh. She does have a hyena next to her. The hyena seems to have rock embedded in it. It's like a rock dog. Rock dog! Rock dog! Yeah, look at this. The emblem of these tribes is a... It's like a skeleton with a chest full of stone-like scales. Antlers on either side of their neck. A small... I don't know if it's like the fletching of an arrow or if it's supposed to be a sprout coming off the top of the head of the skull, but yeah. Hmm. Oh. Peculiar. Okay, so if you want to head, make your way up, uh, we should go get you to the sage trainer. I'm going to go find them and see what they say. Okay, sure. Here's Agoy, the Kazai assassin. Yeah, he's just a merchant. Some dude named Matthias here. Nope. Does not care. Okay, here's the sage trainer. Ooh, this is a wool shroom. That's yep. cool. That, so you're not even harvesting the mushroom itself. It just has these fronds that come down from it that are the wool, so to speak. That's fun. A wool shroom. There's just a guy sitting on the steps. A couple of guys sitting on these steps. So it they must be Kazite warriors. It looks like for the he for a hefty fee, uh, we can get you access to. Well, hefty fee for two hundred, we can get you access to. Uh, four rune word uh, runes. That you can combo together at like a mana cost. And what do the runes do, per se? I mean, I should see. Is it in here? Oh, we need a lexicon. Yeah, yeah. If you come, if you come to good old Pothead here. Well, there's Matthias. Is that? Did you speak with him already? Uh, no. 
<laughs> well, sort of. So, Shell, come here. Yes? There's money on the ground. Take all of that. You're going to want to buy those four rune words at the bottom. And we're also going to have to go get you a lexicon, which you have to hold in your offhand. So that means I have to have a wand or a one-handed like a mace uh, for like my other hand? Yeah, so I would recommend, yeah, like a one-handed mace or something Oh, uh, I see. Similar. So there's Dez. Blue rune that does nothing on its own but can produce combo effects by casting other runes in the correct order. Rune Shim. A red rune. Okay, same description. Green rune Fall. Rune Egoth. The Well of Mana increases your maximum mana. Gain access to more advanced runic combos. But is runic magic the only magic that I can learn? According or? to my chat, it's the best magic-ish. Really? Ish. I mean, I'd like to know what other forms of magic there are before I throw all this money into getting runic magic. Well, I mean, I think... All magic is sort of viable for you. The casting multiple spells in a row? But to what effect? You chain them together, so if you do like... I I don't actually know what the rune word combinations are going to be. But if you chain them together successfully... So we need to get a lexicon before these are yeah, worth anything. Yeah, you can get a lexicon down here. Down there being where? Because I want to get the lexicon before if, I get. If these. you go to the merch, if you go to the, I think it's the alchemy merchant. Well, there's this guy. His name is Jaeger Sullivan. Huh, a financier. Not someone I want to. There are two levels of runic magic. First gives a mine. A light spell, armor, and a one-handed sword. Ah, huh, interesting. So that would be a situation in which, say, you... Oh, did that actually have stuff in it? It did. Endurance potion sounds good. So, I would say, pass the mine, throw it on the ground, retreat a little bit. Ooh, talk to the Cabal of Wind Altar? You feel a strange surge of wind blow through you. The wind in the Enmerkar region recognizes you and will obey you if you command it. Thank you, Wind Altar. Did you already encounter that altar? Uh, no, but also not super helpful for me. So you say now. Well, I'm... Now now all the wind shall be commanded by me in the Enrakar forest. Wah! It's falling down this house. Hey, people in my chat, is it worth it for me to go for the elite plate armor or nah? I'm having trouble telling. So where's this lexicon? Uh, talk to the alchemist. Where's the alchemist? Uh, let's see. If you check the map, he's the dude with the uh, the potion bottle. Oh, they the alchemist. Not really. I guess the alternative is... I could get the... You know, I should probably look at the classes. Mm-hmm. Because Hunter for the extra 40 HP might not be a bad idea. Okay, spend money on skills beforehand. Huh. So, Vey the Alchemist wants me to create a cold stone. As a quest? It's pretty simple to make a cold stone. Put a mana stone and some blue sand into an alchemy and let's- Oh, into an alchemy and let's get- let it run. I'll pay you real well if you bring me one. I 
D don't I already have a cold stone? Or do you have the cold stone? Uh, I have a I have a cold stone. Okay. Or the materials for one? Nope, I, I got a cold stone. If you come to me, I have dropped uh, all six on the ground. Wait, really? Yeah, come here. I'm quickly looking at character, quick character builds. I mean, there's Firestone, Cold Stone. Yep. Okay. I didn't even have to craft them. I believe we just caught them off of the dead, didn't we? Yeah. They yielded a Cold Stone. Hey! Ah, thank you. Another week or so without that woman bothering me about these. Here, your reward. What did she give us? I can't tell. I didn't even get a, you received this. What did she give me? Oh, I got, I got stuff. You got Actually, stuff. Actually, sorry. Oh, is it because you're the instance owner? So what did you get? Uh, 50 silver and some... Oh, all merchants have a repeatable side quest for a little reward. You get more money than the quest cost. Okay. So... Uh, see if you can actually pick that one up again. Really? I'd like to talk. Oh, she's like, I won't need your help for a few days, but come again and I'll have work for you. So it might be on a times table. Okay. So she has a chakram. Chakram spells are necessary to use this offhand weapon. So, wouldn't it be cool if I was, like, a lexicon chakram user? Like, so... With chakram spells, would you, say, send the chakram out and it would hit people with fire or something? Maybe? I, I don't know. I, I know none of the magic system. And I'm probably gonna just let you do it. I think I'm gonna go for... Maybe, like, kind of a ranger build? I don't really know. Oh, chakrams are an off-handed weapon, though. Yeah. So, I want to learn both types of magic so that I can figure out which one I prefer. Maybe. I don't really know what my plan is. Your rogue is amazing. Piercing shot can save your life. Yeah. I'm just rolling through, like, quote-unquote builds somebody's come up with. Because I don't know if it's worth it for me to, to go into this survivor class. Personally, Ooh, I kind of wish you could go into chakram, all of them. Look at this chakram, Carl. You have it float above your hand. That's cool. Wait, did you just buy one of those? I just bought one. It was oh. an, it was another ninety silver. Do you know? Can you use it yet? I can't use it yet because I don't know any spells for it. But I want to learn spells for oh, it. Oh, remind me never to give you money. <laughs> it looks awesome. I mean, yeah, but like we are poor. And you just bought a meaningless thing for 90 silver. But I, I'll i need it if I want to learn any... Well, okay. Yeah, I need to learn the magic for it. Is there someone that uses chakrams around here that could teach me chakra magic? If you do shift tab, you can actually look up how, how it works. What do you mean by shift tab? Do, do shift tab? It pulls up the thing. There's a little thing at the bottom that says web web browser. Oh, oh, wander. No, I know what you're getting at. Google it. Like, Google chakram skills. I understand. I was just wanting to see if maybe there was someone in town. I, well, I. 
Now there is the sage trainer. They might have it. I think I'll go up and look at the sage trainer. Let's see. What is rogue skills? Backstab. I'm surprised that you're looking into rogue. Usually you prefer the heavy hitters over the... Uh, well, so the rogue... The rogue's breakthrough skill is... Uh, lowers the stamina cost of dodging by 50%. Allows you to dodge unimpeded even when wearing a backpack. Which is actually quite helpful. Oh, the sage trainer is the one that does the... The runic. So it seems like I really want mercenary. Mercenary seems really close to uh, what I want. Let's see, warrior monk. Engine attack, Norse defenses. Looks pain. I don't think the extra maximum stamina is necessarily useful. Why, why this? Why warrior monk? I'm trying to pick a class. I guess I could live without the dodging. Maybe I should just learn how to dodge. Well, one way or another, what I do want to go for is we need we need to make it to Abrasar. Because the class I'm looking for is there. Both classes I'm looking for are there, probably. Okay, let me try these two out. So I'm going to do Fall. And Egoth. Oh. There's a class for Shaman somewhere in Chersonese. Oh, and the Cabal of Winds up there. Shal and Egoth did nothing together. Hmm... I mean, this seems like the kind of thing you should probably... Read up on? Yeah. Then why am I spending 200 coins to learn four sigils that I don't know if I'll even want to use? Right. Because it's one of the two types of magic you pretty much have access to? Kind of, Really? Sort of. Only one of two? I think there might be like three-ish, but apparently it's good. I... I still want to learn how to use the chakram. The book doesn't look quite as nice as the Chakram. Okay, Abrasar is extremely hot. Uh, let's see. What is my heat defense up to? Probably bad. Uh, it's 15. Yeah, no, I gotta get that higher. Okay, so I wanted to look at Sniper Shot. Extreme bleeding and pain. Oh, feral strikes would be nice. Let's see, predator leap, shockwave, rage boon. What's up, Shell? Hmm. Listening for more more furious doggos. I don't know. In the distance. Oh no, there's a croaking going on in the game. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. I don't know. I wanna find out the magic that I can use with chakrams. Okay, I mean Would that be I, I truly can't tell you. This is why I usually recommend kind of googling these things, because I'm just wondering if the assassin would have it. Maybe? But the assassin would seem more like a rogue. Unless can they're magical assassins in Kazite. What do 
do I need for a cool potion? The shaman. I want the mercenary and probably the rogue. Uh. Huh. I don't know. So Ogoy says, I came here to harvest beast golem scraps. They're very useful crafting components, but one of the golems injured my knee. I'll pay well if you can bring me some scraps. Yeah, sure. So what was that about? Bring bring two beast golem scraps to Ogoy. Okay. I need gravel beetles in my inventory. I got one. Uh, we gotta go mining. Maybe shopping. I'm gonna check the inn real quick. 